to see how pro wrestlers pull off the dangerous and sometimes deadly day jobs. That's it, Ryan. Keep pushing it. With just two days of intense training. Grab that side headlock. Come on, use some strength. Will I be able to bring down the house? The main event is next. Live. <laughs> Anything goes. Wrestling uses the principles of science. Today, I'm gonna get chopped, bumped, hit, and slammed. Hopefully, I'll be able to survive and become king of the ring. Pro wrestling is the world's biggest sports entertainment enterprise. The soap opera storylines may be little more than smoke and mirrors, but the physical stamina is 100% real. Ryan's taking a crash course so he can tangle with the biggest and baddest in the biz. Monkey, monkey. Crazy. Former wrestler Rob Echeverria out, is head coach out. for the Squared Circle Training Gym in Toronto. He's credited with helping stars like knockout champion Taylor Wilde make it all the way to the top rope. Double clothesline, guys. Let's see it. So you guys are here for a little, a little torture and agony? That's the plan. Let me show you what you got to be ready for. That's the guy you're going to be wrestling. He's got a little less hair than you, but uh, yeah. I think it makes up for all the muscle he's got. He's like twice your size. No, he's probably three times your size, but uh, I think he can handle it. I want you guys to uh, go powder your noses, get ready, and uh, meet you back here in two minutes, okay? All right. Sounds good to all me. All right, it's your funeral. This extreme wrestling boot camp will put Ryan through his paces. He's got two days to learn how to give and take a beating. Anything less, and he could be badly injured. Morning, Not to mention, humiliated on fight night. We're gonna teach you how to fall without breaking your back or your neck or, you know, getting your eyeballs popped out of your head. So we're gonna have uh, Greg and Luca here demonstrate a, what we call a back bump. 95% of the time, you're gonna be landing on your back in wrestling. Okay. So this is what it looks like. These guys have got a lot of muscle. They need to spread out that weight across as much surface area as possible. Fewer pounds per square inch means less pressure and less pain on the landing. All I need to know, tuck my chin and smile. It's like slipping on a banana peel. Good. Up again, do it again. Head's not hitting the mat, which is good. The bump is wrestling's most important defensive move. Whether it's backwards, forwards, or upside down. It must be landed cleanly. Or it could mean lights out. He could land on the top of his head or the back of his head, either, you know, cracking a vertebrae or severing his spine. And it can happen in an instant. Check out this botched bump. Ryan got lucky. Oh. That was iffy, that one. Yeah. <laughs> it was iffy. Neck injuries are no laughing matter. They've threatened the careers of wrestling superstars like Buff Bagwell. A slip of the head, and Bagwell's neck was instantly fractured, briefly paralyzing his legs and putting his life in jeopardy. Doctors fused two vertebrae together with titanium plates during emergency surgery, and after months of grueling therapy, he was able to wrestle again. After some painful practice, Ryan's bumps are improving. I think I had fun with that. <laughs> Rob needs to test Ryan's technique before he graduates to the next level. He's been bumping and doing really well today, so I figured we'd just uh, pump it up a notch here and uh, put him through this table. You're going to put me through the table? Yeah. And how are we going to do that? The technique is just the, the basic back bump that we've been doing all day. But I'm going to get one of my students, Pierre, to throw you through the table. OK. The table is just a table. There's no trick to it. The razzle-dazzle comes in smashing through the sweet spot in the middle where there's no support. And if I miss, it could be me that breaks in half. There's uh, been a lot of times that people have totally missed a table and landed either out of the ring or onto the floor, or they've hit it only with the back of their heads. There's a lot of things that can go wrong with this. Take your time, don't rush. Don't rush. What are you doing there, Ryan? That looks a little Fantastic. painful. Fantastic. I broke your table. That's all right. 
How's your back feeling? A little tight? A little bit. A little sore? Yeah. Good job, by the way. He did great for his first time. I'm really impressed. At this school of hard knocks, mm. the tests keep getting tougher. <laughs> Next lesson, Impact 101. He's only got two days of intense training before his live match. All right, guys, come on. Get in there. There's still a lot of back-breaking work to do. Brian, Amber, this is Dr. Sean Thistle. He's a chiropractor, hey. kinesiologist. Me too. We're a little worried about you today, so uh, we brought him in just to get some uh, expert advice. As a kinesiologist, my expertise is watching humans move in terms of how the joints, soft tissues, and muscles absorb impact. And then as a chiropractor, I can assess and treat any injuries that might happen. So we're going to move on to the next training, correct? That's right. We're going to be doing chops. Chops. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like a, something you'd eat, but actually it's not. Basically, a chop is an open hand strike to the chest, sometimes the back, the face. Chops really pump up a crowd. The sound of skin against skin makes fans slap happy. As a wrestler, Ryan will need to sell the pain to get the crowd to buy in. When I get hit, am I supposed to wince? And is like that the idea with the wrestling? Uh, it'll move? probably be natural, but uh, the idea is just try and relax. Don't tense up your chest. It'll probably hurt you a lot more. So just sit back and relax, pretend you're on the beach. Oh, that, that nice. sounded nice. <laughs> yeah, oh. I'd say you hit like a girl, but you don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was even better. You look like that you're enjoying this. Nice you know what? I, it's, 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 it's a nice release. Does, does it have to be repeatedly in the same spot or what? <laughs> I can't uh, stop. No, no. Rob's right. With Taylor's killer chops, I don't have to pretend they hurt. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Is that enough marks? I think that's enough marks that's for right now. Oh, <laughs> Mostly just soft tissue damage here. You're not running the risk of breaking any bones, generally speaking. It's more the noise, and you're just going to break some blood vessels, as we see there. Mm -hmm. And in uh, certain cases, leave an absolutely perfect handprint. Yeah, a perfect handprint. Yeah. Got actually white stripes on the inside absolutely. of those fingers. That's a good one. Now that I've got the basics handled, I'll get my feet wet with partner's work. During a match, wrestlers act like enemies, but really, they're a secret tag team. They talk in code and delicately deliver the goods to minimize the hurt on each other. First assignment, the elbow smash. I find you can get a better grasp of where your elbow is going to drop if you kind of swing yourself into it, because that's where you're going to actually end up. Which way do you think is best? This is the most common way. All right, just breathe <laughs> out and relax. <laughs> so the hip should be, actually be landing on the mat. The rest of everything above his waist should be landing on top of the, the opponent, absorbing as much as the area as possible at the same time. If you land a little bit off time, some, someone's going to get hurt, either you or him. Both fighters share the impact to make the elbow smash successful and safe. If I land right, I strike the thickest part of my opponent, and he only gets blasted with half the force. My leg and butt absorb the rest. If I land wrong... Oh, it's oh, a little low. Oh, oh, right. Step a little bit towards me, me though. I need that. No, sorry. Okay. You didn't yeah. clarify that before. <laughs> we don't wear cups in wrestling. So what next do you have for Ryan? We're going to try a drop kick. He's going to be receiving, of course. That's usually the rule. You take it before you can give it. <laughs> yeah. So assume the position. Prison rules. Eh? <laughs> Just relax a little bit and let the good times roll. Sometimes the danger is actually the person delivering the drop kick because they have to turn themselves over midair and kind of absorb their landing in a bit of a different way as well. So it looks almost just as dangerous for both parties. So the idea is to do like a, a small semicircle outside of the body, lifting up your right leg, placing it on the chest, followed by your left leg, connecting. And after you feel the kick, you push off and then start to turn to your stomach. Watch his face. That wasn't bad. Ryan's progressing at breakneck speed, a very real risk for this next maneuver. The body press is dangerous for both wrestlers. One leaps in the air and delivers up to 1,000 pounds of force on the other. Ryan's got to do this right. He can't afford to injure himself before the match. Just close your eyes and hope for the best. You see how he tried to stop himself from falling by reaching his arm out? If he had caught in that arm, he would have just popped his shoulder out, shoulder. broken something. It's just a human instinct to try and stop your fall. When yeah. wrestling, we're not trying to stop our fall, we're trying to absorb the fall. When moving instinctively to break a fall, the hand and arm thrust from the body. Four 